birds. Oh. oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I do one of these. This is Lander. Hi. We're jamming out right now. Join us. Join us. Come on in to the live stream. You're welcome. Is it too much? Is it too much? Is it too much? Is too much? Is too much? Is it too much? Is it too much? Is it too What to do with my hands? I don't know how to dance. <laughs> Fucking nerd. <laughs> it's fucking sick, bro. Sweet. Thorns. Fatness. Thorns in the studio. Babe in the studio. Get some thorns in your ears. Vega in the studio. I'm in the studio. And I think that's everybody, right? Nobody else. Uh oh, we're coming back. Hold on. Trap arms. Trap arms. Trap arms. Oh shit, I hit the fucking camera. I got too excited. <laughs> Did I fuck up the shot? No, we're good. We're back. Very nice, Thorns. Good job, buddy. There you are. He's right there. He's right there, guys. Right there. Check him out. His new song called Too Much. Nice little flip he did. Super sick. We're gonna let it fade out. We're gonna let it fade out and do a yeah. proper intro. What's up, everybody? It's Danny back here again at Excellent Sound Studios in Hollywood, California. With my buddy. What is up, y'all? Baker. Didn't say your name yet. Baker. <laughs> and God my buddy Thorns, who you just heard. That was his track. Out now. Check out a SoundCloud. Super dope. And our boy Raul, babe. Hey, babe. What's up, babe? That's going to get really confusing. And I'm sorry. Parker meant. What is up, everybody? My partner. Parker in the house. My partner. Partner in crime. Partner <laughs> my in partner, business. My partner meant is here. Uh, <laughs> we are here and we are, it's time. It's time. It's time, guys. Huge um, announcement. Big fucking announcement. Let me just start off by saying, oh God, I mean, the amount of uh, hype behind this announcement has just been huge. What is it? People trying to pay us money to tell so them. So much money. So much money. They're saying we're overhyping it. We're overhyping it, but you know what? It's time that the people know. We just had effectuals come out, and guess what? We got something big to announce. Way and that is fucking huge. <gasps> Future Bass. Yeah, that's right. Future Bass, guys. It's pronounced Bass because it's a bass from the fucking future. You guys were all wrong. All you guys wrong. All pronounced it always <laughs> wrong. It's pronounced Future Bass, as you can see. <laughs> A bass from the future, a strictly a pack. We did this in Cartel, which was had some future based elements. And some of you guys have been asking for a future based pack. So guess what? We fucking did it. And it's coming out live to you April 1st. April 1st, guys. That's We're going to have date. some serum presets in there, tons of different samples. Yeah, it'll be a lot like uh, how Cartel was. Yeah. Um, maybe more. Maybe. Yeah. Exactly. A little bit more melodic, you know? Yeah. Get that future bass vibe going. And just because we're uh, always excited, as you can tell from our YouTube channel, we're always excited. Um, we're going to be showing you guys a little preview, a little, a little, a little bit of a smidge of a preview a little of smidge. little, little smidge little of <laughs> of future bass, uh, and showing you guys how to make uh, Oshi 
and um, who else? Josh Joshi, Pan. Josh Pan. This is all. This this sound is going to be in the future bass pack, but we're gonna give it to you guys for free, and we're gonna go over uh, some of the samples that you'll hear, and we're gonna show you guys what that sounds like. We're gonna be making this today. You ready? Damn it. Oh, that's a nice patch. Oh yeah. Uh. Should we get live? Let's get live. Let's do it. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh. Here comes. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. So we're going to teach you guys how to make that sound today, and we're going to give it away to you for free. It will be in that future bass pack coming out April 1st, as well as these samples, which I'm going to go over in just a minute and show you guys how that all works. Uh, me and Parker made this little cool little melody drop thing. Uh, we were thinking, somebody also was re requesting quickly, quickly, and I was listening to some of his stuff, and I feel like this kind of falls in that vein, too. Definitely. So we're going to quickly, quickly make quickly sounds. Quickly. Those guys are all killing it. They're yeah. like super underground, but like they got some crazy bangers. It's like there's two different types, or there's a couple different types of future bass. You can do like you can do like big future bass, like uh, boombox cartel style stuff, where it's like yeah. big chords, like chain smokers, and then there's like this type of future bass, which is like I don't know, it's super like chill, loungy, and jazzy. Groovy. Yeah, so we're gonna be going over some elements. We're also gonna be mixing some of it live because you guys always ask questions: How do you mix? How do you master? How does your shit sound good? Blah blah blah. Actually, you guys don't sound like that. I sound like an asshole. You guys sound really <laughs> nice when you ask. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going over some of that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys basically what I got going on, and this is what will be in the pack. Uh, shout out. The only thing that's not really in the pack is this hip-hop sub bass, which I use all the time. Nothing special to it. Uh, Parker's going to go over how he was writing that, so it might be a little helpful for you guys in this type of style of, excuse me, style of genre. Definitely. With like sub bass and where to put it because it, it does add a lot uh, when you listen to this style of music. Yep. And you'll see how it comes in. Um, and then I got some uh, bass guitar that I programmed with MIDI. I slap a de bass. Slap a de bass. <laughs> oh. Uh. Ooh. Oh, that slap. It's like some bedroom bass, dude. And that is actually from Native Instruments, the Contact uh, 5. It's from Complete 11. Uh, we can link that. Yeah, I don't we'll, know if you guys we'll, want to we'll buy that. But yeah, it's a really great plugin. Um, Sounds very natural. It's very natural. Also, uh, what we got here is I got some samples from Future Bass. Early preview for you guys. We got this nice kick. Yep. It's very acoustic sounding kick, but also big and, and EDM-y, which is a nice mix, I think. And I love this snare that I made. This is like one of the first ones I made together with the kick. It's just a nice. Such a poppy transition. Yeah. Really li I'm really proud of that snare. And it's not even too much. No. You know? Exactly. It's got that, I don't know, I forgot what I layered it with. It's got that like pop, dude. It's got that sh like shake in it. I don't know what it is. And then we got some uh, some highs, some drum highs. So this is a little perk loop that I cut up for this part. We got a little, adds a little swing, a little rhythm to it. And then, of course, we got some late-ass hi-hats. Uh, what did we call this? The yeah, that's the, uh, track delay? the track delay, yeah. A nice future bass. I like future bass. Uh, Hi hats. I don't know. It's like they're. It's a specific tone. It's like they're like kind of dirty. Kind of yeah, like, like how we dark. did the rhythm video. Like, totally. Yeah. It's like kind of similar to that. It's like a kind of like lo-fi-ish. Yeah. Almost, it's a lo-fi you know? exactly. And then also we have this open hat that will be in the pack as well too. But we can't get that till till April first. We're gonna give you guys the preset for free. So let's get in. Uh, I just want to rap, dude. I feel like fucking Tupac, dude. I know. It's almost like Tupac. -ish. Yeah. I said, oh, for your mama. Yeah. <laughs> mama, I'm sorry. I never got a chance to say I'm sorry. I don't know how to rap, but this game is hard for me. I don't know what I gotta do. Gotta kiss a man. What? <laughs> what just happened? This is the future bass <laughs> pack. <laughs> I did just rap that. With Tupac bonus <laughs> Tupac, extras. Tupac acapella and future bass. Surprise. All right, enough's enough. Let's get into what you guys are all here for. First off, fuck this brown ass shit color. Let's get it a nice, oh, a nice mint green. I, I like, like that, that mint. So I got some awesome MIDI right here, some nice chords. Uh, I think we're going to also, we haven't decided entirely yet, but I think we might also do some uh, some MIDI. I don't know. What, would you, what do you guys think? Do you guys like some MIDI in the Future Bass Pack? I mean, it's pretty much almost done at this point, but uh, we're trying to add some more things here and there, switch some things out. You can hear some of the drums, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think it might be cool to have some cool MIDI like yeah, this. Yeah, we like we like MIDI. Oh, ooh, just the bass? Let's hear that. Ooh, it's hard. It's 
say. That's fucking Maybe we'll dope. make this into a project file. I don't know. If you guys want it, let us know. Yeah, Tell us anything. Might be able to even make this like live. Yeah. That might be cool. Yeah, that'd be tight. Do you guys like that? All right. Tell Who us knows? down below. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Uh, you can always email us too, uh, which we got a new... Well, I'll go over that later. Fuck yeah, it. we'll go over it later. Okay, I'm going to throw my serum in here real quick. I'm going to make this shit big. Not like that. That's not how you do it. I got no processing on the sound, guys. It's very simple. No I'm processing. really stoked on the sound. Uh, I called it uh, in the pack. It's called OC Dream Chords. Get it? OC? <laughs> Actually, like, the, I, like the city. <laughs> like the city. Yeah. Actually, I misspelled OC. <laughs> I misspelled but I like shit. OC. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set up some macros too in this one. So it's going to be a little bit different. i um, show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and play it with what we got right now. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Maybe I'll just sell it. Just shows you how good MIDI, uh, like MIDI, like your 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 MIDI and your uh, chord structures. Chord structures can really make a whole entire thing. But you can hear really nice, the yeah. bass by itself is pretty cool. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a analog BD sign, just like that. Uh, zero octave is cool. Set it to two waves of unison, and then set the detune down to 0 0.0 sevs. 0.0 sevs is what we're looking for. Um, level is going to be where it's at. Random's good. Phase is good. Pan is good. No warping and wave tilt position all the way down. That's really nice. That sounds like That's a Rhodes. Super nice too, yeah. Just that alone. Like a little whirly. Yeah. It's clipping a little bit. That would be a great layer for just yeah some background shit. Simple, simple is always best, guys. Yeah. Um, next thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and turn on oscillator B, and let's set this to basic shapes, and we're gonna choose sine just like this. Uh, three waves of unison. Set the detune down to like right around 0.13. That works. Blend says fives. We're good on that phase. One eighths. Random's good. Level. Uh, turn it back a little bit. Um, random is gonna. Sorry, level's gonna be at 56% is what I got it. So we don't want this one coming in too much. Uh, warping is going to be sync because we love sync and the sync, uh, half, oh, I have sync half window. Why the fuck did I do that? Probably was an accident, <laughs> but do it anyway. Uh, this will also Sounds be, this, great. this preset is available in the download description below if you guys, uh, don't want to make it with us, but I recommend you do because you learn more. Uh, so we got this set at like, what is that? 2.16. Do 16s. That's fine. 2.17. <laughs> Nice, very nice. Ooh, smooth, sexy. Bedroom, bedroom vibes. Bedroom vibes. All right, cool. That's sounding good. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an envelope. One envelope one attack. It's gonna be set to 131 milliseconds. This should be a short video. This should be pretty, pretty quick. Short and nice. It's a nice, simple sound, but it's a really cool because the thing that we really wanted to do with this new pack is not make your generic saw future based stuff. Like, you want to make interesting sounds like this. I mean, there'll be some of that in there too, don't worry. So, if you want your cool, like, filter records and shit, it'll be that. But there'll be a lot of stuff like this, which is like an interesting sound that you want to make chords out of. That's our goal with this pack and especially Just with the samples. Straight quality too. Like, yeah. I've, I've downloaded some really bad, like, future bass, <laughs> like, exactly you know, packs and yeah. i was like surprised at how bad they were yeah you know, i was really excited and i got them loaded them up and it was just like kind of disappointing there you know? hasn't been like a really good future based pack and that's what we're trying to do and that's what i feel like we have done so yeah. hopefully you guys will be pretty excited about it too um so this decay knob is going to be set down to 304 for this one 304 303 is fine uh because i don't want to do exact because it's a pain in the ass uh sustain knob is going to go down to 12.2 decibels 12.1 is fine. And then our release is going to be up a little bit. We want that release. That release is going to be the tail end of our sound. So if I just hit it, it has that little bit of extra at the end. That's what release does, if you didn't know. This is, we're adjusting the amp. Now you know. The, now you know. We're adjusting the amp, uh, which is how the sound is played out. So it has a slower attack, a little bit of bounce with the decay, holds the note with the sustain, and the release lets it out. Just like a nice fart. <laughs> nice oh this feels great i love this midi okay next thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and uh, turn on our sub oscillator uh and make sure this is set to um whatever this one is what is this sub oscillator shape this is like a parable i think it's what it's called parabolic, parabolic. yeah parabolic sub it's like a 
it's not like a smooth sine wave. It's a lot more of a uh, has a lot more uh, curves, not curves. Some curvature. Curvature. Yeah. No, the first one, sub a sine wave is curvy. This one's kind of more uh, s- flat. Narrow. Yeah, it's a little bit more flatter on the top. Yeah. Uh, turn the volume for the level all the way down, and then we're gonna put this envelope on that. So we want this sub. This envelope's just gonna be bringing in this sub just a little bit. It's gonna be set to 15. So we want a little bit of sub. Very nice, very nice, very smooth. All right, now that's sounding good. Let's go ahead and start making our first LFO. Uh, nice, nice future bass now shape the fun for you stuff. guys. Now the fun stuff, your LFOs. I'm gonna go ahead and round this out just a little bit and leave it just like that. Set it to envelope and set it to bar. Ooh. Got some bars. Got some bar. Uh, that's our first LFO. We're going to get into our second one in a second, but we're going to go ahead and add a filter right now. We're just going to leave it on a low 12, MG low 12. Make sure both A and B are both going to the filter. So both these oscillators are going into this filter. Uh, and set the cutoff to around, right around there, roughly, or 27. What do I have it at? 27, 8, 4. 27, 8, 4. See, you can never get exact. I don't want to type because it's 2749. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to put LFO 1 on that, and I'm going to shift option or shift window click it so it goes back and forth. And I'm going to pull it to – where am I going on the LFO park? 99. Nine nines. Let's hear that sounding. Kind of gives it that wow, wow. I added a lot of cool macros in this sound that you can really mess around with, which we're going to do for you guys too, I think. It's so pretty. You gotta add the sub to the uh, cutoff as oh, well. Oh, thank you. Parker says add the sub. Parker's gonna show you guys how he did the sub in this song I'm too. I'm all subbed out, dude. You're all subbed out, dude. <laughs> Are you subbed? Are you guys subbed? Are you wubbed? You guys be better. Are you compressed better comment? Be subbed. Are you limited live? Sub down below. Are you gonna sub? Saturated sub? No? Just me? Okay. I'll go fuck myself. Oh. A little quiet. Let's turn up. Ooh, that's real nice. nice. That's real nice. All right, cool. Let's get into our uh, next LFO. Our next LFO, I don't know if I'm doing anything with that one. Go to LFO 2. LFO 2. That's 3. What is that one on? Oh, I did do something. Okay. I don't know if the, this does anything, but go ahead and make it look like this. I don't remember why I did this, but... In your sound design adventures? My sound design adventures. I don't have it all the way down. I have it like here, don't I? Yeah. So yeah, set it like this, basically, like right below that little line, um, and then set it to bar and envelope, and let's put it on the cutoff, just like that. Oh, I did do it for a reason. I did, I did it for a reason. Was it to clean it, clean up the? Uh, no, because I wanted it to, uh, to shut the cutoff faster than what this was doing, I believe. Ah, uh, okay. And if I'm wrong, and you shot me on the comments, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, don't no, fuck you. I love you. Thank you for watching. Comment whatever you want. Uh, LFO 3 is going to be a basic triangle, right? Oh, vape. Vape break. Vape break. LFO 3? Yep. Yep. I showed this in a prior video uh, with uh, a lot of my saws that I like to do, which is with this uh, fine tuning. So go ahead and put LFO 3 on the fine tune and pull it back to minus 19 is what we're looking for. Minus 19... Okay, and then turn off the BPM and set it to just rate. Uh, anchors on, and yeah, and have it be off. So this is going to be shaking the tune a little bit, and not in any like any uh, syncopated, not syncopated, uh, quantized rate. You know, because it's off, because we turned off that BPM, it's putting it. I don't know how it, how it works with the frequency, like how it makes it faster or slower, because it's saying six point two hertz. Like, do you know what that means? Um, I think it's um. It might be uh, the frequency in turn with the tempo. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like the lower, the lower the hertz, the slower it's. If you want to impress your friends down in the comments below, go ahead. I know Broken Fingers uh, commented uh, in one of our last videos saying that the course pitch on minus or why it's minus nine. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and nine is 12. an octave. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember why he told me, but I already forgot. But well, if you want to tell us why, <laughs> he said in course pitch nine is an octave. But then yeah, in but he the, said there was a reason why though. Oh yeah, I can't remember. I why. don't remember. <laughs> so <laughs> go ahead and <laughs> answer our questions, and then we'll fucking forget the answers. Yes, it's the excellent community. <laughs> yeah, guys. We're trying to learn. I might ask a couple questions at the same time in a row. Yeah, I have, so, I have listening problems. <laughs> we should, we should 
yeah, if you guys can tell us the answer to the uh, the Hertz question, we'll give you a discount on one of the packs. So hey. whoever, uh, yep, I'm saying it. I'm Parker saying it. Parker said it. Parker doesn't like to give shit away. <laughs> 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 this is the first time. Did some nugs of nods going nugs in the comments. Nudge. Yeah, if you know what it is, first one to comment it gets a discount. Gets a discount. How much? It should be a good one. Or it should be like a free pack, a free quick pack or something. Free quick pack. Fuck it. Free, yeah. I just changed it. Free quick pack. First person, person to comment Upgrade. how this works. 6.2 hertz. Free fucking what pack. What the difference quick is. Pack. Yes. And then if you want a big pack, contest. we'll give you a fat discount. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's hear Let's hear where we're at. I'm fucking vaping, I'm bro. Bitch. Oh. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to make you cry. <laughs> or J. Cole. What is J. Cole? I don't know. Whatever. All right. That looks good. Uh, LFO 4 is going to be kind of like this. Kind of like how LFO 1 is, but like more like that. Um, and this one's going to go. Oh, yeah. We're going to get to that. We're going to put that on. Uh, trigger and set it to bar. And that looks good. All right. Also, we're going to turn uh, always for portamento. This is like the glide. This is the glidage. Set that to like 55 milliseconds, Parker. Did I get it right? 27. A little, I was. Dose sevs. I was. Oh, Samsonite. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> Slippy slant. I love Dumb and Dumber. Nice. Very nice. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, can you go to the macros real quick and see if I have any? The click on the like on the one of that one. Is it on anything? Nope. Okay, click on the two. Okay, that's all effect stuff. Same thing. Cool. And then go down to the, the third and fourth one. Okay, cool. And then the last one. Yeah. LFO4 rate. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add this macro right here onto the rate of LFO4. And we're going to get into why in a minute. And I'm going to title this. Uh, this has never been done on Excellent Sound Radio. Never. Macros. What the fuck are those? We put them in our presets all the time, but since this one is an actual preset in the pack, you will be able to uh, make this macro with us. So, uh, LFO 4, rate. And then I'm going to turn this uh, LFO down to... No, no. Click on the light. The light. The light. Show me the light, Parker. Show me the light. Two sevs. Nice. Okay. And then for this for this macro, I'm going to turn this up to like noon, just like that. 51%. That's fine. And it's not doing anything yet, but it will. Okay. Now that that's good, that's pretty much good for our uh, our front page, our oscillator page. Let's go into our effects and let's get crazy. First thing I did is I compressed it because it was too quiet and I put on uh, multi-band compression and I always just turn the gain up because I like shit loud at 10.9 is what I got it at, guys. 10.9. Uh, and I turned the mix down. So this is some parallel multiband compression, like how I would use OTT. There's no processing on this besides this serum pack, and I think it sounds great. Uh, I got this set at 36, right, Park? Yep. Okay, I did some other stuff too. Release, leave it where it's at. Turn the attack down. Turn the attack down to 28.4 milliseconds, or 20.5. And then the ratio, turn that down to 1.8 over 1. And then threshold, turn it down a little bit to like minus 14.2 or 5. That's right. There it is. She's coming out now. Oh, I got this on uh, this next one. We're going to do some macros too. So let's turn on the hyper dimension, guys. Hyper dimension. Dimension. Uh, so let's do the hyper first. Uh, rate, leave it where it's at. Detune, turn it up to 74%. We're getting crazy. Uh, mix knob, we're going to turn that down to 20 sevs. Two sevs. Apparently, I love two sevs. Dose sevs out. Dose sevs. Dose sure. sevs. That's what it is. I fucked up. Dose sevs. Very nice. That's doing a lot, spreading it a lot. Okay. And also make sure it's set to seven waves of unison. We're adding more, more unison here, guys. I'm really proud of this sound. Go back up because I need to do some uh, macros. Okay, so for this one, um, or do I have any LFO on it? Nope. Um, go to the macros for me. Four. Macro one. Yeah, okay, so we're going to do macro one. Macro one is going to go on the mix knob. 
of the hyperdimension. And we're going to call this macro one. Just double click over here and call it spread. Like buttery spread. Like butter. Like eagle spread. Ooh. Do you like butter or margarine, Danny? You know what I like the best? What? Good question. Glad you brought this up. This is important. Um, the vegan. I'm not vegan. If you are vegan, shout out to you. Way to go. Um, but I like the... Uh, Earth balance. Earth balance. Yes, Fuck yeah, dude. dude. That's really? Amazing. That shit's the That's best. That's my shit, too. It's better than butter. Eat that shit. It's healthy, guys. Shout out Trader Joe's. Shout Sponsor out Trader us, Joe's. Dude. Sponsor Affiliate. us. Affiliate link. What up? We'll sell that shit for you guys. If you guys want to send us... Just give uh, us a call. Earth balance butter, you can send it to P.O. Box 6969. Dose Sevs. 420 zip code. <laughs> Dose says. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so call this spread, and I left it all the way down in the macro, but this is kind of a cool macro. Now we can really spread it out, but I left it down for their initial patch, so we'll leave it down. I'm just trying to do it exactly how the patch is so they can have it. Yeah, and then everybody can yeah. mess with it. Okay, next we're going to do chorus. I'm going to move this up. Chorus, uh, this is going to do a lot of fun stuff. We're going to turn the mix knob all the way down first, um, and then turn the low pass filter to 222, two, two. dose, dose, dose. Dose, dose, dose. Dose, dose five. That's fine. I can never get it exact. Feedback is at 80%. It's looking good. Uh, depth is at 3.4 milliseconds. Millisex. Millisex. I like that. Delays is at 0 0.03. Delay two is. And then delay one is at 0 0.03. Also. Or, yeah, 0 0.3. Sorry. Uh, rate is at 0 0.09 hertz. So go up one. <laughs> All right, for this one, do we have any LFOs on this one or macros? Nope, nope, nope. All right, cool. Uh, LFO four, we're going to put on the um, low pass, and we're going to shift option or shift windows click just like that, and that's going to be set to 100. Let's turn that all the way up to 100. This is going to add some coolness. Very cool. That's really nice. Nice, right? Well, so you can't really hear it yet, too, because the mix now. But uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, go to the macros for me, Park. Macro. Which one? Try macro two. It's probably macro two. No, macro three. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is cool. I made a wah-wah filter. Okay, my big thing. Let me let me take a little quick second and explain this. My big thing. Thank you, Parker. Yeah, there you Thanks, go. bud. Just angle that a little bit Just for you. Right there. Yeah. Nice. My big thing about uh, presets is I feel like if you get a preset from a company like us, uh, ideally you'd be able to take that preset and if you have macros it should be able to completely change the sound or add something really cool rather than just like wet dry reverb so in this pack you'll see when you guys get it um, a lot of the sounds are designed uh, creatively with the macros I'm really proud of it because they're just trying to think of a way to make the sound like for instance if you get one sound you should be able to make it into a completely different sound by the macros totally. another really great sound and also uh, I would also suggest when you guys do get this pack that you dissect some of these presets because I've, I've come up with some really interesting ways to uh, use macros lately I've been really excited about um, that I think would be really cool for people to use um, just creatively in a creative sense like they're not just knobs that just like oh I want more spread you know what i mean like yeah or like a filter delay yeah exactly like, like you can really get creative with them so what i did with this one is i was like oh like wouldn't it be cool this this chorus kind of sounds like a wah-wah filter so take ma uh take macro three and put it on the mix knob all the way up uh and then just title this one wah-wah or whatever you want to call it like wah-wah a wah-wah filter is like from like a guitar like Jimi hendrix shit right some Prince shit. Some Prince, some Slash, dude. So I'm gonna turn this up. Yeah. And then I have this wall rate, right? Which I can also now, if I go. Now it changes it to a filter. This is like th at least three sounds. In exactly. But for the stock sound, I don't have that. But just just to show you guys a perfect example of like what our sounds are going to be like, you're going to be able to make it into a completely different sound by turning a knob, which is our goal. Yeah, it's um, going to be huge. So I'm going to turn this wah wah filter down because I don't have it initialized in this patch. But just know it's there now that you made that macro. You got a little cool little filter, and then you can automate that in if you wanted to, and you know have the sound transform in the track itself, which could be a cool idea. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's pretty good for the chorus. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a flanger. Not a flanger. 
Uh, and turn the mix down. I always, I always go right to left. I'm sorry, Parker. I was switching it up. I'm doing like Hebrew, right? Is Hebrew right to left? Yeah. Or up to upside down or something? Uh, tw- <laughs> 24. Uh, upside down. 24 for the mix knob. Phase at 180. Feedback is right there at 50. Depth is uh, 100% and rate. So, yeah, it's pretty much stock. Just add some tonality to it a little bit more. All right, next thing we're doing is we're going to add some delay. So this delay is going to be set to BPM quarter quarter that looks good uh set it to normal and just filter out we're just going to be delaying the highs that's what this does right park yep and then yeah set it to like right there this is what i do on all my delays and reverbs anyways really oh yeah so there you go always like oh well you don't always want to do this but it's a good practice to cut out the lows of your delays and reverb and that's essentially what this is this is like a little filter um we're going to turn the mix knob down though to what's that 12%. 12%. Like, yeah, like I could put a macro on the delay mix knob, which some of them probably do have that. And it's like, that's just kind of boring. You know, that's not what they're yeah. for. Like, they're for, like, I think, well, I don't necessarily know. I'm trying to be, for. just be more creative. Yeah. Like, know? I don't see anybody like trying to just make. just do that with like an auto filter. Yeah. I don't get like, or I could just fucking turn it down in the goddamn synth. You yeah. know, like I want to turn a knob and have it fucking do shit. That's yeah, crazy. Some, some wild shit. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to fucking change the game. Fuck your change macro. fucking tracks. What up? Future bass. Bitch. Future fucking bass. Bass in the future, machine guns. Ooh, I feel I've calmed down now. I'm sorry. I got aggressive there. It's okay. Thank you. you get a little aggressive <laughs> okay. sometimes, dude. I love it when you say it's okay. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some reverb. Nice reverb. Oh yes. Real nice. Uh, let's put it on hall. Yep. Is everything stock? Probably. Did I get lazy? Maybe. Maybe it just sounded good. Yep. Stock. Sounds great. Nice Very nice. Airy. Uh huh. Okay, the next thing we're missing is called the vibe macro. So click on the vibe macro parks for me. What does it go to? Uh, of course. Hyper back up here. We need to go uh, take macro two, and we're going to put this on. Will you scroll up for me, buddy, so I can see? Ah, this is going on the rate of the hyper dimension and turn it all the way up. And then I have this set. I'm going to call this vibe. And I'm going to turn this up to, what is that, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock? If Parker tried to tell me, like, turn it to 10 o'clock, I had no idea where it was. You're at, like, 3 If I don't o'clock. have numbers, I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> is this, what is this at? What was this, 10 o'clock? What's it's the actual like number? 11 o'clock. 40%. Yeah. 40%. Yeah, it's like 11. Very nice. Now if I turn this now sick. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put this back to where it's supposed to go, but yeah, basically spread is down. Vibe is at forty uh, percent. Wawa filter, uh, turn it down, and then this 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 Wawa rate does not do anything unless the Wawa filter is up. So it's essentially the on off. But yeah, I had it at noon, and I think I nailed it, right? Oh, I got more highs coming in. We're missing something. Go back to the cutoff. It was probably the cutoff, yeah. Go to LFO 2 for me real quick And click on LFO 1 for me That's right Oh, I probably got the cutoff wrong Uh, Go to LFO 2 For me That's gone right LFO 2 LFO 2 Sync is good. Bass tune. Let's try this. Oh, cool. That was an accident. <laughs> That's sick. That's dope. Uh, yeah, uh. Go to FL1 for me real quick, Parker. Let's make sure I get this right. That's on envelope. Envelope. 
bar, bar, BPM anchor, okay, and that's going like this. Oops. Very nice, okay. Feels good, right? Uh. Uh, yeah. I just want to rap so bad. <laughs> so hopefully you guys Tupac enjoyed remix. that tutorial. That is how you guys make a sound like Oshi quickly, quickly. Uh, San Holo. Who else? Fuck Josh it. Pan. Josh Pan. Whoever the Maybe fuck some, that is. Uh, some, <laughs> some like pre-marshmallow. Yeah, pre-marshmallow. Before marshmallow was... Ever anything? Yeah, exactly. So we went ahead and made that for you guys. It is in the download description below, so you guys can go ahead and have that as a freebie. And don't forget, April 1st, Future April Bass 1st, guys. is coming. Put so it in your calendars. Everything will be leading up to that. Oh, and also, oh, no, hold on. We have to, do you want to show how to do the sub? Oh, yeah, we can. You could just I go. I fucked up. You just, you could just I go to it. I started closing the video. Yeah, let's show the sub Just go, quick. and then we have to show them the, the delay. I'm sorry. You're right. Here, show them the delay first, and, okay. then, and then we'll go over that. I'm sorry. Do not leave yet. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> way to go, leave. Danny. So basically, the hi-hats, if I put it to the click, they're a little behind. And the way I did that is I made sure that I put on uh, this little D right here, and I think that's for track delay. Yeah. Uh, and I pushed it up to – oh, no, I panned it on X. Oh, yeah, I did. I pushed it up to 18. So I basically am saying – Come in 18 milliseconds. Exaggerate it so they can hear it. Oh, yeah. If I turn it all the way up. Way. Way slow. And then go. you can also go the other way, too. And right, make it you can make it faster. But I found that, like, for this song, I found, like, a little bit behind the beat was nice. Yeah. So up is behind. Down is, is uh, in front of the beat. And that makes a huge difference. And also, too, this this uh, MIDI is not exactly on the track itself. It's like if somebody actually played it, but it's actually like a really good player. Like it's close enough. That's why it sounds so vibey and, and human. Um, the, the cool thing with the, the track delay, too, is you could put it on uh, like vocal backups to yeah. kind of spread it a little bit more. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people like detune some of the layers just by like, you know, a quarter, uh, a quarter step, you know, just yep. to kind of create spread. Because if it's perfect, it might get a little phasey with each side. So, you know, detuning synths on one side from the other, you know, you could do that with vocals too. Exactly. But uh, with track delay, I like doing that because it kind of spreads them. Even if you vocal lined everything and it's all perfect, you know, yeah. like it's cool to put like some track delay it on it. It adds a little bit of human element, much like exactly. a groove or anything. Uh, but it's just a different way of doing it. Um, the other thing too is like if you listen to this sub and uh, how the kick is playing, you can hear. I'm going to turn the bass off actually. Like, that one's on the kick, right? Yeah. And then, like, that little that little joltiness right there. You got to find that, like, space. Right. And that's very important. I mean, we have it kind of following the chord uh, progression. See how it kind of comes in and nothing's there? It's a common thing in, like, a lot of these songs. You'll have, like, a bass note. Yeah. It's, it's very, and what was cool is, is I was having a little trouble with the bass, and Parker's like, oh, let me, like, get in there. And he just fucking did it and added this great groove. So your bass... And your kick are very important um, in, in huge, Future Bass. Huge, I mean, it's important in every song, but your kick and your bass, how they groove together, kind of they, they're kind of supposed to, rather than being like right one on top of each other, like yeah. um, like a trap or, or hip-hop. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of boring because like yeah. in Future Bass, there's a lot of shit going on and right. like you, you have to find a, like a good balance between your sub bass uh, like space and your right. kick because if they're always the same, it's like, it's either like a trap song or like metal right. is always like the same exactly. thing or like rock music is like the kick follows the guitar and the right. bass almost perfectly. Exactly. But then in jazz, you know, like a lot of things is, are spaced that's out a great, that's a great way analogy. more freely, you know. So uh, Future Bass, you have to kind of like figure out like a cool combo between it because it still has to follow it a little yes. bit. Yes. But you could do some like nice bass fills and shit. So Exactly. And that's kind yeah. of what we're doing here. And that's why we have this bass guitar and the sub bass and the kick kind of they're kind of they're meeting at certain points. I think the 
the idea would be to meet them on certain key points, usually yeah. on ones, if they're hitting on a one. Um, and then in the middle, kind of like jazz them up, as they would say. You yeah, know, but like, even like trap music, like straight yeah. trap hip hop, like there's some really awesome like exactly parts, you know, like the kick is by itself and then the sub comes in. Or right. Like, you know, it so. Yeah, it just creates a lot of bouncing groove. And the way you just do that is just like play around. Just it took us it took us the longest part took us this was really yeah. we were really messing with this for a long time. And then we have our hi hats in and, and our stuff a little behind the beat. It gets that little pocket. And then And that's how you All future bass kids. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Hopefully you guys learned something. We are at XLNT Sound. Sound. Make sure you guys go to our website. You can check out our other packs. We have Cartel. We have uh, Effectuals. We have Dub Sauce. We have Cashmere Vocals. We have a lot of packs now. Got a ton of packs out there. Show them the packs, Bakes. Show them the what, packs. What do we start with? Uh, show them uh, show Cartel. Show them Cartel. Right. Cartel. And then show them... Uh, there it is. Yeah, look you at guys that. Didn't know, it's on our website. It is a hybrid trap and future bass samples. Uh, we got effectuals, which we just released. It's a quick pack of nice risers and effects uh, and a lot of... Everything is super affordable for you guys as yeah, well. Yeah, pretty cheap. You know? And of course, uh, our future bass, which is coming, we're super excited about. Hopefully you guys like the artwork. I think it's fucking awesome. It's oh, a bass yeah. from the future. From the future. Coming back to save John Connor. To save all mankind. To save the future. Save the future. <laughs> <laughs> what are we saying? Uh, but yeah, that's going to be coming out. Also, uh, we thought uh, we're trying this out. Uh, we're going to be. You want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. we're going to be hitting up uh, all you guys that have bought all of our packs. So you're our elite buyers. So uh, we see you guys. We wanted to thank you guys. So as a thank you, we're going to give you guys a chance to pre-order future bass before anybody else and we're going to give you a nice discount on that as well hey uh so if you guys bought all of our packs or if you bought like half of our packs you're going to be up in our top tier what what what, what would you say our Ill excellent tier our fucking you know what i'm saying uh so you our, guys are going to get wubs, dude. yeah our subs and wubs our, our, no everyone's a sub and a wub but they're subbed we have to think of yeah. some fucking cool name. We'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. But <laughs> if you guys know who you are. We wanted to thank you. So yes. as a thank you, we're going to be giving you guys the chance to actually pre-order uh, Future Bass first with a discount before it's uh, out into the public. So uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. You guys are going to be getting an email from us. If you want to be on that list, just buy a couple of our packs. <laughs> yeah, buy a couple of our packs, and you'll uh, you'll pop the support. up. And yeah. thank you guys. If you guys for just for watching, if you're hanging out, if you just came to just get a cool patch. And it's your first time here. Welcome. Check out. We got a bunch of other videos. Um, and hopefully you guys can enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys so should much. We, uh, should we ride it out with some thorns? Yeah. Should we ride out with thorns or should we ride out with some uh, s some of this? Ooh, yeah. Maybe uh, let's do uh, so we, so that they can hear it more. Which one? This one? The uh, Yeah, what we made. Okay. Let's do that. The whole thing. Yeah. You guys can check out. Oh, yeah. Let me pull up thorns' SoundCloud. T-H. Oh, R N S. That's it right there. He's in the back. Thank you guys. Thank you, Raul. Thank you, babe. Thank you, Baker. Let's get out of here. Damn it. Hold on. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, so oh, I have to put this one. Uh, yeah. I could rap. I could do it. Should I do it? We'll see you guys next time. Maybe not. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Keep it going. Uh. Yeah. I'm about to flow, here I go, here I go I'm about to rap, it's coming Here comes my rap, it's coming Here comes my rap, it's coming It's gonna come, here we go Yeah, uh, one, two, three Don't you know it's me, I got to go Gonna rap soon, I'm gonna rap soon Gonna rap soon, rap soon Gonna rap soon, gonna rap soon Gonna rap soon